Hello, dear friends, and welcome back to College Cooking, Season 3. I don't know which episode. Today, we're going to make squash. I have two midterms on Monday. I mentioned this last week that I had four in seven days. Two of them are done. Two to go. And uh, so we're going to do a not very involved recipe, but still an excellent recipe, and it is acorn squash. It's good for this time of year, too. So let's get started. Here are the ingredients you're going to need. We have an acorn squash. You can't make acorn squash without an acorn squash. That's just the way it works. Unless you're like an acorn squashimist, which is like an alchemist for acorn squashes. Next, you're going to need some butter and some brown sugar, a cutting board, a spoon, and a canife. Canife is Italian for knife. So uh, let's get started. So yeah, now we're going to cut this in half, and that's why you want a big knife. Oh my goodness. This is not easy. Oh. oh goodness. I need a bigger knife. My engineering has not prepared me for this. Actually, it has. All that. Science. There we go. We did it. It is a long and difficult journey, but we have come to journey's end. Or at least the middle. Alright, so next you take your spoon. Spoon. Look, there's me. Hello, dear friends. Uh, and then you're gonna scoop out the seeds. And this fibrous stuff. You don't want the fibrous stuff. Otherwise, you'll be full of fiber. You'll be like a rope. Rope is also full of fiber. So if you ever need fiber in your diet, just eat rope. The next thing you're gonna wanna do is take one of these tray looking things and fill it partially up with water. And after that, which this should have been the first thing I did, you're going to want to turn on the oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Not 350 degrees Celsius, because that would probably burn your oven in half. Now when you're making squash, it's very important to make dumb jokes, because that's an essential part of squash making. Anyway, I don't think that'll make the final cut. So next, you take your squashums. And you put them in the water, like so. Like a da so! And, uh, and then you put them in the oven. Okie dokie, okie dokie, okie dokie. Take a waste time, I'm gonna use this, uh, point in the video to prove the uniqueness of Poisson's equation with a Dirichlet boundary condition. Let's begin. Okay. Is it cooked? Okay, so you have the, the, the grad square times phi equals negative of a, of a function. And the Dirichlet boundary conditions, this is really awkward writing with the camera right back of my nose, uh, basically say that if this is your volume, we're going to call our volume tau because that's what you do with these kinds of things. Now we're going to flip these over. We're going to take some chunks of butter. The bigger the better. Put those in there. And then we're going to take some sugar, some brown sugar, Pakistani sugar, so to speak. And we're going to put some of that in there too with the butter. And now we can put this in to the oven. There we go. And we'll set the timer for maybe 10 minutes. Yo, yo, gangsta dogs and rabbits. We're back at you with some squash in the oven. Cha-ching. Um, anyway, let us get this squash out of the oven. I'm not going to put it in any longer because ain't nobody got time for that. Alright, we're going to move this onto the cutting board. That way it won't bend up all my aluminum. There we go. Alright, so here we have some squash de la squash de la awesome escuchardo Spanish. We're going to slice it up. Oh, that's nice. Mmm. That's good stuff. Turned out way better than I expected it to, considering I had no clue what I was doing. Um, oh, that's good. 
The texture of the squash is a little funny. It's not. I think usually I'm used to being cooked a little more, be a bit softer. But uh, yeah, it's pretty good. The the brown sugar and the butter, nice. It's good stuff. I I could just eat brown sugar and butter, and that would be delicious, in my opinion. Anyway, have a great week. Be a good person. Do good things with your life. Uh, am I forgetting anything? I don't think so. Bye-bye.